Another wasted day, another wasted night, wasting opportunities, I'm wasting my Sorry, getting started a few minutes late. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. All right. So I totally botched this live stream last week. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to do like that simple thing right there. I'm pretty sure it was like on the uh, title screen, the whole live stream, so I had to delete it. So I figured I'd just pick it up right there where I was at last week. I was trying to become reacquainted with the Honda Jet and see if we could get uh, some freelance jobs. So again, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. It has actually been busy around here. You're like, where have you been every day? Well, the real world sometimes, you know, which is fine, fine, fine. Got to keep paying those bills. All right, so I am looking for the Honda Jet. Do 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 do. Okay. There it is. A lot of testing yesterday to get things working right again. Been having a lot of um, live stream errors. Let's see where uh, NeoFly has a setup here. Let me turn on my automatic scene switcher. That's not what we want. Do, 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 do. There it is. Okay, so I looked for today's uh, exploration job, and it's down in South America. That probably cost a—I mean, it's a lot closer than Europe, but that's still probably going to cost us a million bucks to go try to get that thing. Looks like it might be kind of a tough one to get to, anyway. Look at that rocky terrain. Oh, it's all treed. Yeah, probably not going to get that one anyway. All right, so freelance jobs. Where do they have, uh, where do they think we are? No freelance jobs. Um, It's probably because I'm not at an airport. Let's get down. Let's go to Colorado Springs here. Okay, COS. And we will put us, let's put us over here at this. I love this little parking spot over here off of 35. So once we get, uh, Okay, so now what's up with that? Where is Microsoft? Okay, let's see if this is working. Pretzel. Pretzel. There we go. That's working. 
Okay, that's working. It's not going back to the uh, emulator, though. Sorry I didn't have a chance to test any of this this morning. We're running a little bit late. If I do this, if it, if it works. Huh. Whenever I go back to the simulator, it doesn't want to show it in here. What is going on? Mm, let's see. Aha. This should work now. Yes. All right. So freelance jobs. KFCS. KFCS. I see. Tio Nino. Only 19 miles. Well, I might as well try to fly a jet 19 miles. Good day, pilot. Today's VIPs are good customers of ours. Please take good care of them. Uh oh. All right, let me see if I can remember how to do some of this stuff in here. Transporter from dispatch. Boarding passenger. Please stand by. They should give me a minute. It's actually pretty straightforward, but there is the initialization part. Let's turn on the battery. The generators are already on. Don't need any external power. All right. Okay, so just a. We need to go to. Utilities. And we need to do an, an initialization. To our pre flight. Done, 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 done. All right, in this job, they say how much they want. Uh, CO90, we need, where's the weight? Zero pounds. Okay, so it's just the VIPs are, doesn't look like they're bringing anything with them. Okay. And I think all you do now is just press those two buttons and get the engine started. Turn this on. Press right most soft key to continue. That turns that on. That's our co-pilot seat. We're going direct to CO90. Let's go back to home and do our flight plan. Actually, we just need to do a direct, too. It's only 19 miles. Um, so, CO90. Okay. 
Activate the CO9 out. Yep, not a whole lot to it. Let's check our ATIS today. Three zero four zero. One forty two at eight. No, it's a pretty nice day. All right. We want to taxi to the east. Taxi out. Thirty five right. Roger, Roger. All right. Now, when you first look down here and you start moving your throttle around, your you might not get any response. Right? So if I sit here and move my throttle up and down, you see the throttle column isn't moving. They're kind of like locked. When you stop the plane and start the plane, they, you lock them down into the lowest position. So you have to actually manually pull them up a little bit, get them out of that locked position. All right, you have a speed brake here. Got your flaps over there. But now that they're out of the, oh, well, one of them is out of the locked position. Okay. So now that they're both out of the locked, you see that they're released there. Okay. This plane is, it, uh, I don't know what it is with this particular plane and the developers who made it. Uh, it's a really nice plane. I love it, but it causes these lags. So maybe we're probably only, if, if it doesn't get any better, we're probably going to just switch back to Caravan. Planet Caravan is, it's pretty unacceptable at the moment for it to be acting like this. Usually it's only just a couple of seconds when it loads in. Boy. I didn't want to go have to turn things down. Everything was running so well yesterday. Okay, you. You do do. Let's bring this down. Your last day, my only son. Pray to Jesus for all your worth. It's your last day. Mm, better. You haven't seen the inside of the Honda Jet. It's nice. It's not as nice as you think. For a $5 million plane, I thought they could have done it a little bit better. Reminds me of like 1980s Honda's interior. But you gotta admit this cockpit is is very very nice. So streamlined. See if we can get out of here without. Uh,
Oh yeah. Three zero four zero. It's right here. Reserve four zero. Pretty big bump in the runway there. Uh, hello. Yeah. Another big bump. Whoa. 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 Oh my lord. The bumps in the runway killed us. <laughs> this runway, I should have known better. Yeah, I'm used to flying airliners out of it, and airliners don't care about little bumps like that. But in this little Honda jet, that little bump right there killed us. And our VIPs. So... I'm sure they're not really happy with us. What a drag. It's like it's a Monday. <laughs> that just blows. All right. Well, that job's gone. Reiki. There's another one to C090. Cargo. Pilot from dispatch. We have 1,209. 1,209. We'll load them now. 1,209. Seeing hold short runway tree, Fife right, Kinia's 2 1. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off.
Can't tell if they started or not. Yeah. Oh, one moment, please. Do, 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 do. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry, I had to chat with Christine for a moment. I can do is that uh, killing us on takeoff. See, look at how uneven that is right there. That's a foot. Let's try hugging this side. That was a big one, too. Uh -oh. You take off, baby, anytime soon? You're hauling ass. Why won't you lift? Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe. Eek. Colorado Springs Tower, Kinias, two one continue for East Archer. Oh boy. Awful heavy. Yep. It is a lovely plane. I forgot to put in our number two. Get to hold us there for a minute. Didn't do our initialization, just skipping it, trying to move on. All right, up, up, and away, and pretty much just need to turn around and, and land now. I should probably just put the gear back down.
it's just quite literally just right around the corner. Yeah. Thirty-five. Niner. Yep, already here. All right, so slow down. Keeping an eye on our speed there. Too slow. amazing the power they can get i just it always blows my mind the power they can get out of jet engines you know so here's this little tiny thing with these two little tiny jets look at the way they mount them up on the up off the wings like that doesn't even seem like it would work Autopilot. Yeah, I didn't uh, look to see if it was disengaged or not. So the, uh, on the cover art today is, is I don't know what I'm doing and when I, yeah, I'm kind of with this plane. I don't, but when I, uh, wanted to do this show last week, it was the 20th anniversary of a gentleman and his band. The band's called Brad sucks and the lead singer and, uh, of the duo pretty much is a uh, Brad Turquette and his album uh, turned 20 years old the album I don't know what I'm doing last week and before I went on air he was doing a live stream uh, listen in where everybody came together to listen to the album he had remastered it a little bit and that was a good time for all so it was kind of Playing off of that.
2000. Slow. Five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, fifty, thirty. Ten. Five. You might still have time before the deadline. Proceed to parking. Oi. 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 Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, meant to do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Thank goodness there was nothing in the way. Alright, so um, when you bring the throttle down to make it this, you know, go uh, again to fully stop, you've got to pull throttles all the way down. Transporter from dispatch. Cargo unloaded and checked. It is always a pleasure to work with you. Oh, it's a pleasure to work with you too, Alana. All right. So that is done. We're now at CO90. Find one a little bit further away, shall we? Get a little sightseeing in today. Try to change the distance up a little bit. Passenger to KTRU. Where is KTRU? Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't look safe at all. 155 to KULS. All right, well, at least that's an airport. Proper. Okay, so let's do that one. A passenger, 155 miles to and three thousand dollars to KULS. From dispatch to transporter. Let's take these passengers to their destination. Okay, uh, you. The passengers are on their way. Yes. Uh, I thought we were going what? We should be going to Ulysses. 
K-U-L-S. That doesn't look right. Unless the map is... Yes, the map is pointing the wrong way. Alright, there's nobody here at the tower. <laughs> so you gotta be really careful of that... Uh, it wants to do that spin out. So you need to be really careful with that. Oh my lord, come on, get up. Oh my lord, get up. Oh my lord, what? Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. She would not lift. Plenty of speed. How embarrassing. Put, it, put us back at KCOS. I was pulling back with everything I had. She wouldn't budge.
Burlington. There is nothing there. Springfield Municipal. All right. 8v7. Pilot from dispatch. Your next customers have to make an important meeting. Take good care of them. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can trust me with them. Yeah, yeah. Transporter from dispatch. Boarding passenger. Please stand by. Transporter. Boarding is complete. You can start your flight. Now we don't need the weight because we have passengers. So let me pull this back down. It's probably what did it. It's probably too heavy, but we weren't anywhere near max. Just, I guess we need more runway. I don't know. Real drag though. Seven, eight B seven. Oh, uh, that is something I don't know how to do with this thing. Let's see. Map settings. There's audio and radio. Heading up, north up. Yep, that's better.
Pulling hard to the right. Hard, hard, hard. Might have to, Maybe it's a... Jeez. Maybe I need to recalibrate my joystick or something. Son of a gun. Here we go again. Hitting the bumps in the runway. Oh my lord. Unbelievable. All right, I think we're done with the Honda Jet for the day. Yeah, I'm getting frustrated. I shouldn't. It's just, I don't know. I suppose it could be the calibration. So let me do a quick joystick calibration. But she just pulled so hard to the right. And you saw we hit that bump at the runway and she went straight up. I'm going to put us over on this runway. I wonder where that's at. That's interesting. Looks awfully cold. Twelve miles. Oh, really? A trip to Aspen. 
I can't really pass that up. Pilot, this is dispatch. The concierge has rounded up the VIPs, and we are all set to board. Well, shuttle them on out here then. Transporter from dispatch. Boarding passenger. Please stand by. Transporter from dispatch. Everyone is on board. Let's go. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Um, we already have clearance. Well, let's hope this runway is a little bit smoother. Check the joystick. Big bucks, no whammies. A big bucks, no whammies. Uh, that's a pretty bad bump. Look at that. Throwing us to the right again. Have a great flight. Watch out for the champagne corks. These particular VIPs have a reputation. Do they? I'm that kind of people. Rock two three zero six, kidding two one. Yep, Colorado Springs all below us there. Man, she's got the power. Trying to do this in a caravan or Cessna to get up to this altitude. Take us 20 minutes. Maybe not that long. But we're already clear, basically. Do an alt hold.
Where are we losing power? Come on. Alt Holden. There we go. Help, I learned how to read. Higher than Pike's Peak. That's pretty, the little low clouds hugging the ground there. you've never seen Colorado Springs before, there's Pikes Peak, 14,110 feet. They have a little tourist attraction up there for people. You might find yourself turning blue, though. People that come here, they're like, how can you breathe? Because we're used to it. We are acclimated. Going too fast now. Yeah. Now we're redlining. Or 65 knots. Eight minutes after the hour. 11.08 here in uh, Colorado. That. Getting a lot of really strange flickering texture in the environment because of the trees. And I'm assuming it's the 
ambient occlusion that's doing that maybe i'm not really certain those trees are causing a lot of uh kind of shimmering and flickering in the terrain to turn off terrain shadows and see if we can kind of stop the ground from flickering so much Just trying to handle all the shadows on all those trees not much Gosh, Gordon Yep, yep.
15,000 flight level change. Make sure. Just to be safe. I can't help but constantly think about how fast we're moving and just in the the big picture of things, historically speaking, you know, we're not so far removed from the days of covered wagons and just this short distance that we're traveling. When you look at it and think about it from covered wagon. And you think how long it would take to get everywhere. I used to be a warrior. You used to be a rose. Remember when they watched how fast we progressed. But he ain't that Six minutes and twenty seconds. Wish I'd known you before the storm. And I'm remembering your savior. I want to see again. Who is a child full of questions? Had always left me in But with all these years A brain of mine can't mend It's all lying on the pavement I can't remember where you've been I used to be a warrior You used to be a rose Remember when they'd watch us Same story about a broken heart, just one that fell for two that fell for to have a long day's note in the drawer. I've had one, I'll have more. Yeah, this ain't a story about a broken heart, just one that fell for. I wish I'd seen you, wish I'd known. Inner left traffic runway one five.
they say this is a one of the you know one of the challenging uh a challenging landing i get it Two thousand.
1,000. Five hundred, four hundred, four hundred, three hundred. Finally, something done right for the day. Welcome to Aspen, Colorado. the throttle into the low spot transporter disembarkation in progress stand by VIPs off the aircraft now. A job well done. All right, we'll get one that takes us pretty much right back to Colorado Springs, but to the uh, Fort Carson Army Airfield, uh, Butts Airfield. Pilot, this is dispatch. The concierge has rounded up the VIPs, and we are all set to board. Pilot, today's VIPs are making their way now. Oh my god. Is that... It is! Oh, that's made my day! See if you can get me an autograph, please! Sure. Try thirty one. Looking back on the day we met, I should have ran just like hell. She's cold and mean and everything in between. I wish that I never fell. And I'll take me a drink till I had enough. I'll drain myself blind. 
better. Ah, the everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. They actually want us to taxi to the other side and take her off in that direction, but... The ATC in is a is in a loop.
Mm. I had better check weights. Have a great flight. Watch out for the champagne corks. These particular VIPs have a reputation. Make sure I get you that autograph. Well, I'll do my best. Probably turn on the yaw damper. Let's do the autopilot yaw damper. Now, need to learn how to program and set up VNAV in this thing. damper off. No, I wanted it on. Inside. 
Any bright up here today? Well, I wish that would turn into some rain and follow me back to where we're going because this week uh, we had great rain this season uh, along the front range. But this last week, you know, looking at like two weeks, week and a half, two weeks without any moisture and the sun's been beating down. Didn't have to worry about keeping the grass watered. But now we do this last couple of weeks. Follow me, clouds. Come on, follow me, follow me. It's uh, nice and cool, though. I mean, with all what you're seeing ahead of us, it is kind of keeping uh, 
a little early still, but it is keeping the uh, things a little bit more cool. Probably not looking at rain until this weekend, at least. Here's an odd aside. If you're watching this, you're, you're probably in the, you know, flight simulation and flying. But you could just be a gamer in general. And if you are interested in things like Dungeons and Dragons as well. And you've been interested in checking out the uh, Baldur's Gate 3. You want to see what that's all about? Or watch somebody do badly at it? That'd be me. I am uh, now have been streaming Baldur's Gate in the e evening. Baldur's Gate 3. And um, as a D and Dungeons and Dragons title, just that by itself. It's pretty fantastic. I mean, there's a lot of things I could complain about, like well, the big one, the camera. Yikes. Might have to get a mod for that. Not happy with the camera, that's for sure. Other than that, as far as a D&D game goes, I think you'd love it. The uh, developers, though, uh, the biggest, biggest problem that they sprung on everybody one month before release, and that this is it's because they're cowards and they're they're not good people. And I hate saying that. But they've decided to include a lot of really adult content in a D&D title that kids might be playing. And um, a lot. A lot of adult content. And um, in some cases, content that people consider illegal. So one month before release, in, the, in their very last live stream after developing this thing for years, getting us all to pre-release and pre-release buy it and play it. And then all of a sudden, in the very last live stream, they're like, oh yeah, check all this out. Gonna include all this, uh, this really adult, adult content. And uh, when uh, we said we were committed to full spectrum, we meant it. I never heard them say anything like that. For a split second, they tried denying that they didn't know it was in there. And then, like, well, yes, of course, we knew it was in there. Um, they had people walking out of their live stream and people switching it off and reporting them to YouTube for what they were showing to people. And if I was Interpol, I'd probably arrest them. I would uh, also charge the people at Wizards of the Coast. Who signed off on it and I'd, I'd haul them all in you know and that might be uh you know in this day and age it's like oh why do you care you know I, it's like the disney thing you grow up with something and to me and people i grew up with you know we never thought about stuff like that maybe just a more innocent time i don't know but even as we got older we never added any junk to our games that was adult. We didn't. It wasn't ever about that. And so, like, again, with Disney, you know, keep keep it innocent, you know. And uh, I think back to, the, like, the nine-year-old kid in me getting a hold of a game like that and just, what the... Unless parents know that it's in there... Unless consumers are aware of what's in it, you know. So again, really being sly about it and waiting till the last month. And now, only now, people are really starting to catch on. Now it's starting to make the news, and you know the damage is done. But that's typical to me of people like that, cowards, and you know, they're they're not good people. You can uh, turn a lot of check boxes. Like as soon as the game loads for the very first time, you get some options to opt out of certain content. But then you've still got to go into the settings and and turn off other things like nudity and. Can you believe they have a show genitals option in this in the uh, options, in the graphical options? Show genitals. 
Yeah, something we've never needed in our games, and we definitely don't need it in a Dungeons & Dragons game. And then the first hotfix that they released prevented people's uh, genitals, the male genitals, from, from protruding from clothing. Yeah. Yeah, how did that one pass QA, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. The genitals are all clipping through the clo clothing. Uh-huh. pretty sad other than that again I, I like the game you know i'm we're currently playing uh, our own real world D, D games on saturday nights we're hooked up with some old friends who we used to play with all the time growing up and all of their kids are wanting to learn how to play these days so we're all back together and we're all learning fifth edition now and um we're playing the exact same area as baldur's gate 3 and uh, a lot of us adults were taking turns being dungeon masters so we can all become familiar with the 5th edition rules. And so I'm using a lot of... I'm tying them into a lot of the content from Baldur's Gate 3. Having a really good time with it. They're all catching on pretty quick. Because, you know, kids these days, they all grew up with games. They're all gamers. And so it might be a lot slower to them. But they're used to video games and they're used to game mechanics and they understand it and they're they're learning really quick and impressing the heck out of us and how they're uh working together and beating everything that we're throwing at them pretty easily too so <laughs> i'm gonna have to have to up my game and be a little bit more clever i'm always worried that i don't want to kill anybody you know and i, I want to make it challenging but i don't want to make it too easy but i'm i'm always worried oh man i'm i think i'm throwing too much at them and then they just wipe everything out that i throw at them I'm like okay all right all right just wait till next week they're the stars of the show i'm not interested in uh being a devious dungeon master and making making people die and anything like that I want them all to succeed and have a good time and so the long story and the short story out of the long story is is that if you're interested in something that i am live streaming baldur's gate in the evenings and i'm up to like uh episode 16 or 17 there's a lot of content a lot and i I've, I've been trying to cover everything and make sure I, I cover everything, every uh, thing that can be covered without skipping too much. Um, I'm just now into Act 2. If you're familiar with the um, areas around uh, Baron from Baldur's Gate over towards Elturel, we're kind of like halfway between, a little bit more closer to Elsarel than Baldur's Gate. But uh, we're heading to a place called Moonrise Towers, and that's been in Forgotten Realms on their maps for a long time. Just came out of the Underdark recently, and we've, uh, there was a bunch of Gith Yankee that are running around. And they had taken over a. Temple of Lathander, we had to clear them out of there. And now we're making our way towards Moonrise Towers, and that was last night. So tonight, hopefully I'm, we'll make it there. I can't wait to see Baldur's Gate. And get our party there. That's going to be a lot of fun.
going to disengage the autopilot and swing us south a little bit and come in from the south. Yep, right down there. That's a nice drive, this back route, this road right down here off our 9 o'clock. Normally, um, take Interstate 25 a little bit further out that way, go north and south. But this is a very pretty drive to drive. Uh, I don't know the name. I'm at a loss for the road at the moment. But that one that takes you right up against Cheyenne Mountain.
I'm finally here. And some beer. Sounds like a bad idea. In the middle of the afternoon. Well, I've got nothing going on today but this. Sure, I could go out and like mow the lawn or something. This is way more fun. Carson army base is all of this out here underneath us. It's a big complex. NORAD pretty much in the mountain right in front of us we're going to be pointing at the gates of NORAD in about 5 4 3 2 1 pointing straight at the gates the gate into the mountain at NORAD flying right towards it You know, the place where they have the Stargate. You know what? We did not. We didn't get our I may have slipped and picked the wrong airport. I think I did. Uh, I'm per I thought, no, I thought for sure we were going to KFCS. 
This is saying we're supposed to be going to C007 now. I was looking at this. And I don't want to go there. There's nothing there. Well, that's typical for the day that we've been having so far. And that's two hours on the live stream, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Wish uh, for better luck tomorrow. We made some money today. Not a lot. A couple grand. Yeah, and today that was it. The Honda Jet. Got us hooked up already. Not very big, is it? I am surprised at how small it is. I'm going to have to lose some weight to be flying that thing. Got to be small. That's why I really enjoy the caravan. I know it doesn't fly 500 knots, and but it's, it's big, and it feels roomy. And it feels like it doesn't care if you're fat. <laughs> it's like, come on, this is the RV. The RV of planes. This one is still, yeah, they're going to have to be mighty fit. She is pretty. Do to do to do. Yep, I don't know what I'm doing. Sure didn't seem like it today. Or it sure, yeah. That's how bad it is. It sure did seem like I didn't know what I was doing today. That runway at Colorado Springs was really something, wasn't it? Oh, be careful. Be so careful taking off out of there. Possibly even just landing. I'd probably have to submit that. If you have any input as to what you'd like to what routes or if, what planes you would like me to fly tomorrow or any activities or places you would like me to go explore i do have that bush talk radio hooked up now that's what was the problem with last week's live stream okay so let me, um let me show you this real quick before we go this is what happened last week if you open this bush talk radio right and for whatever reason, if you if you maximize it so you can enter in your uh, your data and log in, right? And then when you minimize this thing, I've minimized it, but you don't see that. It stays up on the screen. You have to close it, close it, but you can't close it. Because if you close it, then it... Then it, uh, 
it ceases to function. So you have to be able to minimize it and get out of the way. So you have to double click it and make sure that it's still active and Anyway, that's what happened last week. That dang thing stayed on and I forgot to turn it off. So I did a pretty much a whole live stream with that on the screen. Yeah. But anyway, this thing does give uh, audio tours of locations and it's, it's pretty neat. I really like it, but got to be careful with that. See, even if I just minimized it there, it still just stays on screen. So I have to like, I have to press this button a couple of times to make it get itself out of the way again. So if you decide to install Bush Talk Radio and do some streaming with it, please be aware of that so that you don't make the same mistake I did and feel like a total jerk. All right, folks. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow.